Right, today we are going to make us a handcuff carrier. You're going to take your ASM handcuff mold here. Got a couple of pieces of Kydex. Going to heat these up. Uh, we're using a t-shirt press. Uh, you can always use a uh, heat treating oven if you don't, I mean not a heat treating oven, sorry, a toaster oven if you don't have a t-shirt press. Either way. Just want to make sure that they are nice and pliable. And we're going to put these two pieces into our metal taco press here. And then we are going to push our handcuff carrier right down in between them. And then we're just going to use our clamps and we're going to squeeze that taco press together. Nice and snug. I'm going to give it some time to cool off here. Now we're going to do is going to go ahead and mark our hole spacing. And we're going to mark our rough cut where we want to cut our kydex off. Right now, because of the heat, these two pieces of plastic are kind of stuck together. Uh, you can get them apart, as you'll see later. Uh, but it makes it easier when they're together to do all of your drilling and cutting because everything's nice and even on both pieces. If you're doing this and they do happen to come apart, then the trick is to get them all lined back up before you drill and cut and just clamp them together while you're doing that. And then your final shape is up to you. We're just kind of getting a rough idea of what we want our final shape to look like. And we're going to our band saw, or whatever type of saw you've got. careful when you're cutting that you don't cut into your uh, ASM. Which if that were to happen you would definitely feel it because the ASM is a lot tougher than the thermoplastic. And we're taking our brad point drill bit here. In this case we are in a drill press. Uh, you can also use a handheld drill if you want. We're drilling our holes in. sander here to kind of smooth things out and get a little bit better finish kind of get more of the shape that we want of course you can do this part with a sanding block or anything like that too you don't have to use power tools it's totally up to you So now we're just marking out our next cut. Uh, you don't want to cut into where that dimple's at because that dimple is going to be uh, the kind of locking point for you. We're just going to take a screwdriver so we can pop the pieces apart and get our ASM out of there because now you don't want to try and cut with the ASM in there. And we're just taking um, a screw and a post here, and all we're doing is holding these two pieces together. Because now that we've unstuck them, they're no longer stuck together, but we still want to be able to cut them both the same. Uh, but we didn't want to set our eyelets just yet, so we put those in there temporarily. It holds it nice. So again, this allows us to get both sides of it nice and even.
We're going to polish it here with a little polishing wheel. Makes it look better, makes it feel better. Now we're going to take that screw and post back out. And we're going to take our match point wing here. and our EPDM washers. This allows us to get adjustable retention to depend on how snug we want those handcuffs in there. I'll just put a finishing washer on there with our screws. So if you use eyelets in this, then what's going to happen is you're not going to have adjustable retention. Um, The beauty of this is it depends on, I mean, a lot of things, right? The strength of the person pulling them out. Somebody who's much bigger and stronger might want them in there much tighter uh, because to them it still feels really easy pulling out. Um, some people may want a little bit lighter touch to get them out quicker. Again, this is all a matter of personal preference. Same with the attachments. You could use any attachments that you want. You're just going to base your hole spacing on the type of attachments that you're using. And then, like I said, once you've got them in there, this is where you can adjust to determine how snug you want them to be in there. And there you have it. You just want to make it snug enough so they don't come out when you don't want them to, but they do come out when you want them to because both are equally important. Thanks for watching.